We continue to learn new information on the disappearance of Terry Parker High School student Ayanna Sawyer, who is now believed to be dead. The 16-year-old girl was reported missing December 19th. She was five months pregnant at the time. Multiple News 4 Jack sources say the teen was killed the day she disappeared. Her uncle, Jonathan Quilas, who is in jail on an unrelated sexual battery charge, is considered a suspect in her disappearance and pregnancy. Today, the state attorney's office confirmed there is a recorded conversation with Quilas, which his defense attorney has received as evidence in the sexual assault case. News 4 Jack's reporter, Destiny McKeever, has been speaking with the teen's family and those close to the family. Destiny, how are they handling these new developments? Well, Tom, I have learned that the family has been speaking with this close relative and they are not sharing right now who this person is. Right now, sources are saying Ayana is dead, but the family is holding out hope that she's found alive. These are photos of Ayanna Sawyer. She went missing December 19th from Terry Parker High School, where she made straight A's, according to her family. She was five months pregnant, but a close family friend tells me she was happy and seemed prepared for her baby. Do you believe in your heart that she's alive? I am going to believe she is. I, I don't have any direct signs or information to say that she isn't or is. I just, the only thing I'm concerned with the fact that they say that she, she's, you know, now six months pregnant. Right now, the family's attorney, John Phillips, is only saying on Twitter, please keep Ayanna's family in your prayers. Although today, News 4 Jax obtained documents from the state attorney's office informing Keyless' attorney that it has a control call JSO did with Keyless. This is for his sexual assault case. We do not know who the recorded conversation was with or when it took place, but a control call means a warrant was issued for it with JSO listening in. In the meantime, those close to the missing teen are holding out hope. I would just say, just pay your attention to your surroundings as far as anything or anyone you see that may resemble her or anything like that. At last check, JSO was searching a landfill near Baldwin for clues in the case. No word on what they found. Again, sources are saying Ayana's family has been notified she's no longer alive, but those closest to the family are saying they're hopeful she returns. Please keep an eye out for any suspicious activity and call police if you have information on the teen's disappearance.